I'm a darling, I'm a darling, I'm a darling climber. Oh, oh, hello there. I, I didn't see you there. My name is Huckleberry Hone. And today I'm here to give you a tour. Not just any tour. A tour to a town in a city called Nostalgic Town. Now you might be asking yourself, what is Nostalgic Town? Well, it's filled with people who live there that are characters that you may recognize. You know, that's why it's called Nostalgic Town. You want to come see it? You don't? Well, too bad, because I'm going to take you anyways. Let's go! There we are, Nostalgic Town. A nice little humble town filled with nostalgic characters. This is a place filled with harmony, peace, and with a lot of fun. What do you say we meet some of the relatives here? You don't want to? Too bad, we're going to anyways. First, we have Ernie. Hi, I'm Ernie. <laughs> yeah, this is Ernie. He's very nice. He's loving, he loves to play games, he also loves to play dra- pa- uh, what's the word? Oh right, practical jokes on your friends! Wait, do you really do that? I sure do, especially with my old buddy Bert. Ah, oh, speaking of Bert, let's go find him. Okay! Ernie! Uh, correction, he found me. Ernie, how many times have I told you to make your bed before you leave the apartment? Now come on, we've been through this. Sorry, Bert. I, I was just in a rush. In a rush for what? What do you got plans to do today? Well, um, I, I, uh, yeah, uh, uh, why? I, uh, uh, what do you got plans to do today? I got a lot of plans. I gotta go to the park. I gotta go to the library and night. Wait, are we on camera? And there is Bert. Bert is Ernie's best friend. Wait, who's that? Bert, that's the narrator. What narrator? What, when, when did we get a narrator? Bert is very fussy. He loves pigeons. He loves bottle caps and paper clips. And he also loves oatmeal. Oh, you're right about that. Not to mention that Bert also nags a lot. What nags? Yeah, nags a lot. Shows Ernie 24/7, and he goes bananas and always gets angry. Which is why his head is shaped like a banana. What? Hey! He got you there, Bert. And over here we have two more beloved characters. First, there's Telly. He's a monster and a cyclops. Don't forget, I also love triangles. Oh yeah, Telly also loves triangles. He's also extremely paranoid. Hey, don't rub it in. And over here we have Or. Who? Or is a big blue dragon. And he seems really sad today. Oh, yeah. Well, why are you sad, Ord? Especially on a nice day like today. Well, it's because every time I try to eat ice cream, it always smells before I even eat it because of my fire-breathing mouth. Well, Ord, have you considered trying to pour water down your throat? Then maybe I will stop the fire-breathing. What? But then, if I don't have a fire-breathing mouth, I'm only half a dragon! Half a dragon, Telly! Okay, jeez. I guess I'm not the only one who gets paranoid around here. Who says I'm paranoid? And over here, we have the sweet little Bo Peep. And she's looking for her sheep. I wonder where they are. And where, and where are my sheep? <laughs> and over here, we have two more beloved characters. Over here, we got some McDonald characters. Mmm, McDonald does sound good right now. Uh, focus, hulk, focus, hulk, bear, hound, hound, focus. <laughs> Anyways, we got two McDonald characters. First, there's Grimace. <laughs> Grimace is a big fat... Wait, uh... Actually, what are you? I'm a Grimace. I, I know you're a Grimace, but like, what, what is a Grimace? Like, what are you? Duh. Uh, I don't know. 
I think they said something about me being something, uh, uh, lately, but I don't know what... Birdie, what am I? Well, how should I know? I'm not a big purple blob. Speaking of Birdie, this is Birdie. What a original name for a bird. Hey! And over here, we have two game characters. Pikachu, who is a Pokemon, a mouse type. And we got Kirby, who is a... Uh, I guess a uh, pink marshmallow creature. I my goodness, what the heck are these things? I'm Kirby, and this is my bestest friend in the whole world, Pikachu! No, we are not, and I wish you would stop following me and leave me alone! We also got Chuck E. Cheese. That's right, Chuck E. Cheese. And while we're at it, come down to Chuck E. Cheese's, where a kid can be a kid. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I I didn't know we were advertising something. Well, no, I was just saying, oh, oh, you were just saying. Well, how about you let me say, since I'm the narrator and I'm taking a tour here. Okay, jeez. And over here we have, hey. <laughs> oh, 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 it's just you, Lucy. Over here we have Lucy. Uh, she's kind of a golf girl and she's, uh, well, she's kind of creepy. Thank you, you're too kind. Uh, okay, uh, uh, move it on. Time for Toppy Costa! Toppy Costa! Toppy Costa! Yay! Yay! <laughs> and here we have the Teletubbies. There are four Teletubbies named Tinky Winky, the purple one, Dipsy, the green with the uh, cow hat on for some reason, and we have Lala, the yellow one, and we have Poe, the red one. Um, it's not just a cow hat, it's actually my spotty hat. Yeah, I don't care. Anyways, and they're also eating out of this machine called a, a bubblegum pink ice cream looking thing. Uh, it's called Tuppy Custard. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Well, you did. Anyways, moving on. And what's your name, little boy? Hi, I'm a cheese-headed bean boy. Obviously. And over here, we have Stinky. What? I, I, I mean, Slinky. Slinky Dog, that's the name. That's better. Slinky is a dog who is also a Slinky. Get it? Uh, yeah, I think people get it. And it looks like you're going out for a walk, right? Uh, I'm going out for a walk, but I'm walking someone. Who are you walking? Him. <laughs> Taz go walk! <laughs> Oh, yes. Here's also Taz. Taz is a Tasmanian devil who is, well, he's crazy. Taz crazy! Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, boy. And over here, we have the plushy clock. When you press the plushy clock, it shows you a segment or a skit. Now, doesn't that sound like fun? As a matter of fact, I think someone is coming to press the plushy clock right now. Push you up when you're stuck. Well, life seems full of clouds and rain, and I am filled with naught but pain. Who soothes my thumping, bumping brain? Nobody. When winter comes with snow and sleet, and me with hunger and cold feet, who says, here's two bits, go and eat? Nobody. I ain't never done nothing to nobody. I ain't never got nothing from nobody, no time. And until I get something from somebody, Try hard and scheme and plan To look as good as hair I can Who says, look at that handsome man? Who does? Nobody <laughs> When all day long things go amiss And I go home to find some bliss Who hands to me a glowing kiss? Nobody 
bright. Ah, you never done nothing to nobody. Ah, you never got nothing from nobody. No time. And until I get something from somebody, sometime I don't intend to do nothing for. I hate it. I hate it more. No, I hate it more than you do. No, I hate it more than you do. Over here, we have the Grouches. Yeah, who asking? Yeah, who are you? Well, I'm Huckleberry Hound, and I'm here giving a tour around the place. Well, we don't care. Just go away. Yeah, go away, canine. Well, that's mighty rude of you. Get out. Okay, fine. <laughs> Come on, guys. Apparently, we don't need their time. Uh-oh. Ah, over here, we have Tinky Winky again. The purple Teletubby. He's nice, he's friendly, and he has a coat hanger on his head for some reason. What? What? You have a coat hanger on your head. What? It's not a coat hanger. It's an upside-down triangle. Why do you have an upside-down triangle on your head? It's, it's an antenna. Why do you have an antenna on your head? To connect with the TV on my tummy. Well, why is there a TV on your tummy? Because I'm a Teletubby. Well, why are you a Teletubby? Why do you keep asking these questions? Well, what is a Teletubby? What's your purpose in this world? Why are you here? What is going on? What is the meaning of things? Is the world flat? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. This is, this is hurting my brain. Let's go back here. I got so many other questions. Ah! And we saved the best for rats. I mean, last. <laughs> right here is the mayor of this town called H.R. Puffin Stuff. Howdy. My name is H.R. Puffin Stuff. And I'm the mayor here in Nostalgic Town. Tell me, H.R. Puffin Stuff, what does it take to be a mayor? Well, you see, and what are you exactly? I, I, I'm a dragon. You're a dragon? Uh, yeah, I, I'm a dragon. What? Wait a minute. Orc, come in here for a second. Uh, who is it? You see, folks, that's a dragon right there. You see the buck teeth? You see the wings? You see the fire breathing in his mouth? Uh, uh. That right there does not look like a dragon. That looks some kind of, uh, I don't even know what you are. Hey, I'll have you know that I am a dragon. Just because I don't look similar to him doesn't mean that I'm not. Well, if you're a dragon, then prove it. How about you breathe fire? Uh, I'm not sure you want me to breathe fire. What's the matter? You chicken? Chicken? No one that calls me the mayor of this town chicken. All right then, challenge accepted. <gasps> Whoa. Well, I did not expect that. But anyways... That concludes our tour to Nostalgic Town. I hope you guys had a great time, and maybe you want to come and visit. That is, if you can handle all the freaks that are there. What? Uh, uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, just know what I said. Uh, uh, you all have a nice day, and, uh, uh, this is Huckleberry Hound Dog saying, I'm a darling, I'm a darling, I'm a darling Clementine. I probably shouldn't sing the song or else we're gonna hit copyright. Bye, folks. <laughs>